Angular v19 is finally here, and it brings with it new features, performance improvements, SSR improvements, standalone components are now default, we have schematics for migrations to signals, and more. There has been some changes to effect that change the timing of when effects are executed, and signal rights are now allowed by default, but these changes also mean that, at least for now, effect will remain in developer preview. But the big stars of this release, at least in my opinion, are the new resource API and linked signal primitive. I've been experimenting with these for the past month or so as I've worked on a v19 update for my Angular course. If you're watching this video now, that means the course update has been launched and it will be on sale for the next 48 hours if you're interested in checking it out. But let's take a look at the surprisingly large impact resource and linked signal have had on the three main example applications I use for the course. I've already published a video on how resource and linked signal were able to easily integrate with the mostly declarative approach I like to use for state management, and at the same time remove a ton of boilerplate. I'll link the entire video if you want to see that in detail, but here's a glimpse at just how much boilerplate I was able to remove from the first application in the course. And these APIs ended up being more powerful than I originally thought. Linked signal especially, which I kind of ignored in the beginning as not seeming particularly useful. I'm going to be releasing a video with a full breakdown of this approach likely next week, but I was able to use more advanced implementations of both Rx resource and link signal to handle a surprising amount of what was previously being handled with RxJS with just signals. To be clear, this application does a lot of complex async stuff and still does utilize RxJS in combination with signals. But again, the new signals APIs are able to offer what I think are some pretty big developer experience wins. And just recently, I've also updated the final app in the course, which is a real-time chat app that uses Firebase for data storage and authentication. Again, in this application, the new approach is still being used in combination with RxJS. And I think this example touches on some of the limitations of resource. For example, if we use observables with Rx resource, the resource will only use the first value returned from that stream, which is problematic in this kind of scenario where we have a stream of messages coming in from the Firestore backend whenever those messages change. And on top of that, we also need to stop and restart this stream of messages based on when the user logs in and out, because this stream will error due to permission issues once the user is no longer authenticated. But in simpler scenarios in this same app, we are still able to remove a ton of boilerplate by integrating the new APIs, like in this auth service, and in this login service, and in this register service. The amount of boilerplate reduction is kind of absurd, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that resource is able to give us our result as a signal immediately, along with error and status state signals that we don't have to manually set up ourselves. It's worth noting that both resource and linked signal are very new and still in their experimental stage. Generally, I like to keep my course updated and focused on the newer and more modern ways to approach building Angular applications, but there's always a balance to strike. Since these APIs are still in the experimental stage, I've added new lessons so that we still build the applications the original way, and then we refactor the applications to use these new APIs. You can decide based on your own risk tolerance whether you want to adopt experimental APIs or not. So if you want to check out the course, check out the link in the description and grab it while it's on sale. If you want to check out V19 for yourself, you're only one command away. And if this video was helpful, a like before you go would be very much appreciated.